Let's have a look at, at uh, exercise 2F on page 72. This is question 13. In a small country town, there are three restaurants. 42% of the population eat at A, 45% at B, and 41% at C. 15% eat at both A and B, 9% at A and C, and 17% at B and C. 4% eat at all three restaurants. Display this information on a Venn diagram and hence find the percentage of the population you eat at. A, none of the restaurants. B, at least one of the restaurants. C, exactly one of the restaurants. D, either A or B. E, C only. Okay. So we've got ourselves uh, the, the above uh, Venn diagram here. We need to label it. We need three circles because we've got three restaurants. So we'll call this one here A. B and C. Now they've told us a lot of information already and the first thing that, that's important is the fact that we know that 4% eat at all three restaurants. So we can put the 4 immediately in the middle. And we'll go around the three restaurants now. Restaurant A, that said 42% of the population eat at A, but the important information for us is that 15% eat at both A and B. Well, if 15% eat at A and B, that means in this area here, there's 15. So if that's 15, that must be 11. So we'll put 11 there. Okay, and they told us that 9% eat at A and C. So if 9% eat at A and C, the intersection here must be 9. Look, we've already got 4. I've got 5 here. And what about B and C? 17% at B and C. So if we've already got 4 in this area, the intersection of B and C, then we need to put a 13 here. Okay. Well, got some good information down there already. Now it says 42% of the population eat at A. Well that whole circle has to be 42. So let's add up what we have. We've got 11 and 4 and 5. That's 20. And so that's going to be 22. Now here, 45% at B. So we've got 11 and 13, it's 24, 28, or well, 45 minus 28 is 17. And this one, C, it says 41% at C, so if this area in here all that circle is 41, so what is this? It's 9 and 13, that's 22, and it's got to be 41 there, so it'd be 19. Now let's double check those numbers. We know everything in the A should equal 42. So we've got 22, 33, 37, 42. Everything in C, or we'll go to B, B should equal 45. So we've got 17 and 13 is 30, 41, 45. And C should be 41. So we've got 19 and 9, or well 19 and 5 is 24, 28, 30, 41. So that looks great. question is, find the percentage of the population who have none of the restaurants. Well, let's add up all these numbers, and that gives us the percentage of the population uh, in the small country town, the percentage of the population that actually eats at the three restaurants. So why don't we write the word percent over here? Remember, these are all percent. Okay, so we're going to add them all up. We've got 22 plus 
17 plus 19 plus 11 plus 5 plus 13 plus 4. Okay, add all those up. Okay, and that would equal the percentage of people in the restaurant who eat at the three restaurants. Okay, so it's 22 and 27 is 39 and 19 is 40, 58 and 11 is 69 and 5 is 74 and 13 is 87 and 4 is 91. So that equals 91. Okay, so that'd be 91%. But the question is, this question A says none of the restaurants. So the answer for A must be 100 minus 91, which equals 9%. Question B, at least one of the restaurants. Well, that would be this number here. At least one. Okay, that could be two or three. So that's going to be 91. See, exactly one of the restaurants. Well, exactly one of the restaurants is going to be that 17, that 22, plus that 19. So that's 17 plus 22 plus 19. Okay, and so that's going to be 19 and 22. Okay, that's 41. And 17 is 58. D. Either A or B. Well, it's either A or B is all of all of these numbers here. They're all A or B. Okay. So why don't we just take 19 off 91? 91. 91 minus 19. Okay. That's going to be uh, 72. And the last one, E. Okay, and for E, okay, so E is C only. So C only is this area in here. That's 19. 19%. Okay.